Hi everyone, thank you for joining us this evening. Um, I don't know if anybody's actually there yet, so let's just wait and see if we get a few waves and hellos. If you've switched on, just give me a wave, let me know that you're there. John's on camera again today. <laughs> Hello. Have we yeah. got anybody joining us yet, John? Yeah, audience is building. We're up to 11 so far. 16. Super. And the likes are coming in. Perfect, is what we like. Right, I don't know who's joined me um, tonight who was here last week, but um, I'm actually just going to do you a quick demo of the nifty nozzles. I'm going to show you how to make the use the oriental ruffle. Everybody always asks about this one. And I don't know whether John can see it there. Okay. And I'm also going to use one of the ruffle nozzles as well. Now this one is called Rose Twist. So I'm actually going to put these together. Yeah. Okay. Now first of all, what I'm going to do is just tell you a little bit about um, myself and Nifty Nozzles. I've been working with the original designer, Alexander. Um, he's actually based in Russia. He is the gentleman who's designed all the nozzles and I've been working with him for the last 18 months and he's actually been design he's actually been helping me with our own designs as well. All the designs are protected. Um, one of the things I did want to show you is when you buy a nifty nozzle, if you want to know it's a genuine Russian nozzle, all you need to know is is that it has tulip on this side. If John can actually zoom in, it has tulip. It did used to have WST, which was for workshop tulip, but he's now changed his name to tulip. Also, we have nifty nozzles, okay? If you're in from the Netherlands or Spain, it also has cake supplies on, so that, so that you know that these are the genuine nozzles. These are solid stainless steel, they're nice and shiny, you can pop them in the dishwasher, you can leave them in water, they're not gonna rust, they're actually super, they're gonna last a lifetime. So please don't buy the copies, please look after our property rights and just use the nifty nozzles. I'll be ever so grateful, thank you. Now, last week we had people from Aust uh, Australia, we had people from the USA, Sweden, Netherlands, Germany, Spain. So I don't know who's gonna join me from me there today. We do have suppliers of the nifty nozzles all over the UK and Europe. And we do have suppliers in the USA. If you want to ask me who they are at the end of the session, I'm more than happy to tell you. Um, anyhow, so I am waffling, so I'll just get on a little bit. So one of the things I did want to say is, is uh, which I should have said last week is, practicing with the nozzles. When you first get them, um, you really should practice, really. And one of the things I do like practicing on is a biscuit. Use a rich tea. Don't use a digestive. I've used them and they've broken my hand. Or you can use a dummy cupcake. But the rich tea ones are great because if you make a really nice buttercream, you can actually eat it afterwards. And the kids love them. And I actually do these at the shows. Anybody who's been to the cake shows, they'll see that I use a combination of cakes and biscuits. But these are great fun to play with first. So first of all... I'm going to use the rose twist and I'm actually going to two-tone this. So people always ask me about the buttercream. The buttercream needs to be room temperature and that means it needs to be soft. So if I just whirl that around there. Now last week my kitchen was freezing cold and no matter what we did I couldn't get my um, buttercream to room temperature and I had to keep popping it in the microwave. Um, so what I've done is I've kept the kitchen door shut all day, heating on blast and now I'm boiling myself silly. But here we go, so really nice soft consistency and it should be very easy to squeeze. All you ladies who do the rose swirls on your cake, that's exactly the same consistency that you need for these nozzles. So can you see how lovely and smooth it is? If anybody wants to ask me about my buttercream recipe, I use a very simple buttercream recipe. I use unsalted butter. For those ladies who don't want it so sweet, use the salted butter, slightly salted. Then I use, um, so I use 500 grams of unsalted butter and one kilo of icing sugar. That's actually quite a lot, but these nozzles do use up a lot of buttercream for your flowers. So what we're going to do is, I'm just going to mix my two colours together because we're actually going to do a two-tone effect. 
So has anybody got any questions they want to ask? John's more than happy to help. I've also got Caroline from the office who's answering questions for me. I do believe Louise said that she'd help out if she's here. Have you joined us, Caroline and Louise? Say hi. No? Not sure. <laughs> uh -huh. Yeah. So, two toning. First of all, I like to use these small bags. I think they're, I think they're 12 inches. Okay. Just a nice small bag. And when you cut your nozzle, when you cut the bag to pop your nozzle in, just make sure the nozzle is just popping out of the bag. So this one, we have to go a little bit further because of the, the pattern. This one here, I'll show you here, just keep the bag in line with the tip. Yep. Uh, the reason for that is these nozzles are so big that when you're pushing down, your actual nozzle can push itself out. So give it the best chance you can. So, let's get going. So one of the ruffle cakes is this one here. Okay, so this is one of the ruffles. And I'm just going to pop it on there so that you can focus in, John, while I get my buttercream ready. And one of the other cakes that we're going to do is the oriental ruffle as well. So if John can just pop back over here a minute. Right, so what I've done there is I've actually just put a thin coat of one colour on the, on the outside of the bag. And this is what they call two-toning. I prefer to do this sort of bag over my hand. I find I have more control. Some people like to use a container, uh, pop it over a container and then put the buttercream in. But I prefer to do it this way. So I'm just going to get the orange now and I'm going to just sit that right in the middle. And for this ruffle nozzle, I'm actually going to put quite a bit in. So I'm just going to fill it right up. Give it a squeeze. Now because I've got my bags of um, buttercream ready before we went live, you'll see that I've actually got them all sat in a bowl. Now this is one of the tips that I can give you. So in the summer or in the winter, stop your nozzles going dry. Just use a nice bowl with a damp um, dishcloth in, clean one of course, and then when you've done your bags, just sit them on top. Okay, once you start using them, you can pop them into a holder and become a little bit more organised and you know where all your nozzles are. But I just leave them in the bowl first just to stop those ends drying up. So if John will come back to me here. So I've got my biscuit. So for the ruffle nozzle, you only need a little bit of butter. So let's just put that little bit there. Yeah. And this one that we're using is the Rose Twist, but it's the same principle for all of them. So for those ladies who've got Mrs. Whippy, um, Vianetta, this is Ruffles, this is how it works. Now you do sit your nozzle straight onto the cake, or biscuit in this case, so leave it there, okay? Don't lift it up and don't do this pumping action. Um, I'm sure some of you ladies will recognize that. I've seen a few of you at the show doing it. So here we go, we're gonna start squeezing and watch the ruffles come out. And as they slowly come out, just slowly rise up with the nozzle. When you're ready to stop, just twist off. And there you go. And because I've done it two-tone, now you can either leave it like that, which is the way I love it, or you can pop a cherry in, a Ferrero Rocher, Malteser, Marshmallow. So I'm actually gonna do that again for you. Did everybody like that one? What do you think? Who's got the rose twist? Come on, John, speak to me. Hearts are coming in, the lights are coming in, thank you. <laughs> Good. Right. So I'm actually just going to do it again. So imagine that this is your cake. So just a little bit of buttercream. And then we're gonna get the nozzle. Remember, this is the rose twist. Okay, works exactly the same as Mrs. Whippy, Vianetta and Ruffles. So you just sit the nozzle on top of the cake. And let's see, is Johnny, you zoomed in enough to see? Yep, we're ready okay. to go. And then you just keep squeezing. 
squeezing and as you keep squeezing slowly lift the bag stop squeezing and twist off there you go and the kids love this one so pretty you do it all in different colors the kids absolutely love it so has everybody got that one super right now let me talk about the oriental ruffle so this is the oriental ruffle or some ladies call it the spear now, we brought out the original one. There's been many copies out there on the market. Um, don't go buying those bundle deals of nine of all the different shapes and sizes. Believe me, they only give you exactly the same pattern. Basically, Alexandra and I were so fed up at the, at the copies coming out that we actually put a dummy set on our website. Bit naughty, but we put a dummy set on because we knew that they would be copied. And now I have people all over the world asking me, what different designs they do because they've got all nine nozzles and they all create exactly the same pattern. Um, so personally, you only need one. doesn't matter which one it is. I would prefer you to buy the genuine article, but if you have bought a copy, it will all, they will all do exactly the same. Um, what was I going to say to you about this? Um, when I first brought these out, I really didn't like them with buttercream and I prefer to use Italian meringue. I think it gives a much nicer effect and, um, and if you're from the Netherlands, uh, Fun Cakes do a fantastic cream called Enchanted Cream and it works really well with this. But otherwise, here or anywhere else in the world, you know, use your Italian meringue or use your buttercream. And tonight I'm going to use the buttercream. So I'm just going to show you. And this is the effect with the buttercream. So I'll just pop that there for you. I'm not actually going to two-tone this one, I'm just going to... That, um, that'll do a little light colour. A lady has asked if you need to have different consistency buttercream for different types of nozzles as she used one of them last week and her buttercream was too soft. Yeah, okay. Personally, you're, it's a difficult one no matter where you are in the world to get your buttercream right. And your buttercream really does need to be room temperature. So I've had this slab of butter out now for a few hours and I can just about press my thumb down on it and that's not good enough. It really needs to be quite soft, but not soft so it's watery. So I usually say a medium consistency. I also like to add a good tablespoon or two of condensed milk and that helps it make it more creamy, but that's what I prefer. Some people prefer to use boiling water, some people prefer to use milk. It really is down to your own preference. The one tip I can give you, if you have to squeeze hard on your back, it's too hard. You should be able to flow nice and easy. So here we go, let me just fill up the ruffles. That I have. I've had the heating on in this kitchen all day today. I'm absolutely sweating my guts out now. <laughs> I'm just going to top this up with a bit of white buttercream just to fill up the bag. This is just to fill up the bag. It's actually not going to do anything. It's just that I haven't got enough for that colour. So with the copy nozzles, they all say you need to do this rolling action. And that, the reason for that is, is that if you just squeeze it out like I did with the ruffles before, uh, you get a massive big hole in the middle. And then the whole thing falls apart and you don't know what to do with it. So somebody has come up with this rolling action, but you don't need to do that with this. So let me get myself another biscuit. So just put a little thin coat on here. Right, okay, and it's, it's exactly the same action again. So you put the nozzle onto the cake and you'll see that this brings out lots of finer frills. Can you see that? And just stop when you want to stop. And there we go, we twist off. So I'm just gonna show you, don't get the big hole. You do get a slightly little hole in there and you can flatten it down if you wish. Or you can keep it high. If you use the Italian meringue, it actually pulls up to a lovely point. 
So this one here, compared to the Ruffles nozzle, can you see how thick they are? And this one's a lot finer. So yes, does it work with buttercream? Absolutely. Do I prefer Italian mang meringue? Absolutely. But you know, it's down to your own personal choice. So John's laughing there in the background. What are you laughing at, John? Dad's from Cake and Bake would like a hello. Oh, hello, Dad's from Cake and Bake. <laughs> Been chatting to her today. Anybody who's going to Cake and Bake London, XL, and Manchester later on in the year, October and November, well, we'll be there with our friendly sales team, Desi. <laughs> Thanks for joining us. So I'm just going to do the Oriental Ruffle again. Is there anybody else on who we know, John? Yeah. Okay, so what John's actually zooming in on now is, is last week we actually got asked what colours do we use. Um, I actually prefer all the gel colours. So my personal preference is the Colour Splash range. And these colours here is what I've used this evening. Okay, do I like Pro Gel? Yes, I absolutely love it. So anybody who's got Pro Gel, absolutely fine. Do I like Wilton? Absolutely fine. No problems at all. Um, Sugar Flare, absolutely. Those are all perfect for the buttercream. Do I like liquid colouring? No, I don't. Um, I'm not quite sure why I don't, actually. I've just never really got on with them. Um, the reason I like the Colour Splash is because they've got this lovely pointy bit and it keeps my nozzle nice and clean. And that's what I, the reason I like. Just squirt it out, put the lid back on and it's nice and neat. Whereas I find that when I use these gels, I've got to put a cocktail stick in. I don't know how much. I need another cocktail stick. Then I've got buttercream in my gels. So, John, what are you gazing at? Because you seem to have disappeared. <laughs> no, no, I'm still here. You're still there. Right, okay. So let me do this ruffle again for you one more time. So a little bit of buttercream onto the, onto the biscuit. John is so funny behind this camera. He pulls his faces and does all sorts of funny things as though I'm supposed to understand what he's saying and I've actually no idea. So John, if you want me to communicate, please talk back to me. Yeah, so that's a little bit lower. Or you can just go back on, keep squeezing. You can have as much buttercream as you want. So who likes that? And that's your Oriental Ruffle. So you don't need to do all this waving around like you do with the copy nozzles. Straight on. And off. There you go. I'm going to pop that down there. Super. Now, what I'm actually going to do now is I'm actually going to decorate a dome cake. Okay. I'm just going to have to just wipe my face a moment. Right, so last week I showed you ladies um, two dome cakes that I did. And if John comes back over again, just to refresh your memory, okay? And one of them is the pink and white one. We do have, there are different nozzles that are in there, and we do have them on sale on the website. Um, just go to www.sugarandcrumbs.co.uk, and then I've got the blue dome cake. Tonight I'm actually going to have a go at doing the naturals, which is what I've used here from this wedding cake. Um, I did put a picture up today on Facebook and it was actually a lady in my class who used the natu naturals called Jen Rothwell. They were her favourite colours and I must say I was really impressed so I'm going to have a go at those except I'm going to add a splash of red to it as well. Um, the nozzles that I'm going to use is I'm going to use Mimosa which is what I've used on this cupcake. I'm going to use the Lotus Flower as well. I'm going to use the crocus, which is there. And what else am I going to use? Oh, I'm going to use the pinwheel, which is this one. I'm going to use the leaf nozzle, the 352. And I have another nozzle, which I'm going to use that you haven't seen before, which is called mimosa, which is going to do us a lovely little flower. Okay, so let's get back to my dome cake then. Let me move all this buttercream out of the way. So this is just a Victoria sponge, okay? Cut in half and I put lemon curd in the middle. I'm actually using key lime buttercream. 
mainly because I brought it home for last week's show, so I'm using it again. Um, I have rough coated this. That's the, one of the nice things about using the nozzles. You don't have to have them all lovely and smooth. Okay, all you can do is slap the buttercream on all over and it's good to go. And because the kitchen's so warm, it's still quite tacky. Um, otherwise, I might have to put another coat on, so I think we're gonna be all right, actually. Okay, now, doing the dome cake, you might ask me, how did I get this shape? I've used um, a hemisphere tin, I think it's called, and I've actually got them in three sizes, and this is the largest size. So I can measure that later if anybody wants to know, but I do think it's an eight inch across, maybe 10 inch, not quite sure. So let's see how we go. So the first nozzle I'm going to use is Fleur, and John's grinning there, what are you saying there, John? I'm watching some of the comments. I oh, yeah. Well, we'd like to tell me some of the comments. You remind Karen of Keith Floyd. Of Keith Floyd? I don't drink. <laughs> so you're not drunk? <laughs> I've got my bottle of water here, girls. I don't drink any alcohol. <laughs> right, okay. So let's just, let's just see if this um, cake is um, soft enough. So I don't know whether John can actually get in closer there. Let me just move it away. Because one of the things I do want him to see is is that you just put the nozzle straight onto the cake. So straight onto the cake, squeeze, form a base, up and off, okay? And I'm gonna do that again. Squeeze, form a base, up and off. Squeeze, form a base, up and off. I'm just gonna do them randomly, all over the cake. And the colors that I've used here on the outside I've got um, nude and I've got sunflower for the centre. So I'm just going to put that up there. So can you, have you seen that clear enough? So straight onto the cake, squeeze and pull off. Now I just want to show you something. I did show all the ladies last week and I'm going to show it on a scraper because it's wide enough for this big nozzle. Um, and one of the things that I do should tell you is that we do sell a fabulous four-sided um, cake scraper. And lots of people have asked me over the week, how did I get the effect on the wedding cake? I'm not particularly good at um, coating a cake. I can't get smooth size sides. I can't get a crisp top at all. And uh, this was more by fluke, really. I just slapped all the buttercream all over it. And I actually used this side of the scraper and I just went round. And to be fair, it's give it quite a rustic effect. So if you like that, we do sell these. These are the four sided um, cake scraper and that's because of the different designs. And I think they're 4 99 each. We do do a triangle one as well, which gives you this sharp edge, square, and it also gives you a smooth edge. Do be careful, don't be throwing these at the husband. We have a question of what nozzle uh, did the purple cupcake? This one here is called Rose Cup. It's very pretty. And this is a new ruffle nozzle. What do you think of this one? This one's called um, Frilly Girl. And the reason I called her Frilly Girl is because she's indented. And it, um, you can see the indents where it goes inside. And I quite liked it because it reminded me of a dress. And I have used glitter on these. I know not everybody loves the glitter. I, I have used the rainbow dust glitter. Um, personal preference if you want to use them or not. But I actually think they help really make them sparkle. And like I say, we've got the crocus there. We've got the um, carnation here. This one here is called garden rose. And that leaves a hollow in the centre, which is really pretty so that you can pop in any colour pearls of your choice. Or just leave it hollow if you like. So I'm just going to carry on here. So what I do is, I randomly put these all around the cake and then I start doubling up. I really wouldn't have a plan. I think it looks far better if you just ping these nozzles on. So hopefully you can see there. And then I've got this lovely one called Pinwheel. Let me show you what this one does, this one's real pretty. So again, you could put the pinwheel on here. If you notice I didn't put any buttercream on. You could get your own little swirl. 
if you just wanted to use it for a swirl on top of a cake. So that's a lovely one that's called Pinwheel. So I'm just going to use him to fill in here. Mrs. Ripper. Can you see how soft my buttercream is and so easy to squeeze? Last week um, we got it really nice and soft and while we was waiting for you to join us it, it hardened up and uh, about four minutes before we came live I had to quickly put them all in the oven. Uh, thankfully we got a fan oven just to let the heat rotate around the nozzle. If, you, if your buttercream is a little bit too soft I would suggest just pop them in the fridge just for a couple of minutes. Uh, I do see people say, oh, I popped it in for 20 minutes. I probably wouldn't leave it in that long simply because the nozzle gets cold itself and then you can't squeeze out of here. So the next nozzle I'm going to use is the Lotus Flower. So I'm going to add a little bit of green to this one. So is everybody with me? So we're just going to go in here, squeeze up and off. Squeeze up and off. Can you see how easy these are? Squeeze up and off. Just put them in randomly. I have two tone these. I do do classes. People ask me, did I do classes? Unfortunately, I don't really do classes anywhere else in the UK unless anybody wants to invite me. Um, I do do classes here at home in Stockport. It's actually in this kitchen. This is my cake decorating kitchen. And uh, my classes are £99 a person. And I actually do them on a Saturday or a Sunday, depending what I've got free. Um, you do go home with a dome cake and 24 cupcakes and I am going to do the wedding cake class as well. If anybody is interested in that one, just ping me an email or a message. Yeah. Now this nozzle here, I'm going to have a touch of red. It's always handy to keep yourself a damp cloth just so you can wipe over the nozzle. And this one's called Mimosa. So I'm just going to stick a little bit of red in there just to give it a bit of vibrancy. See how it's all pulling together this cake now. Look how quick it is. And I got around this cake quite quickly talking to you guys. But if you weren't here, I would say it takes me about 10 minutes. The biggest part is the actual preparation of the buttercream. So if you've got a, a family cake that you need in a rush, it doesn't take long to actually bake the actual cake itself, but to decorate, it would be great. These would make great Mother's Day's cakes, baby shower cakes, um, birthday cakes. I've done these in all sorts of different colors. We've been invited to Los Angeles. Have I been invited to Los Angeles? Well, pay me flight and I'll be over tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> Could just do with some sunshine actually. Okay, so can you see that? Look how lovely that red is there. And that one's called the Christmas Red on the Colour Splash range. Yeah. And then the next nozzle I'm actually going to use is the Croker. So I'm using a combination of large and extra large nozzles. So I'm just going to pop in the Croker there. So you'll see how easy it is for me to squeeze with the bag. Last week I was having to be a little bit firmer because as I say, I couldn't get my buttercream to get soft enough. So I'm just gonna fill in here, fill in there. You know, it doesn't matter if you do in the same place. John can just pop in over the top there. You see how nice and easy these squirt out. Look, straight on. Was any, is anybody here tonight who wasn't here last week? Say hi. Because one of the things I do want to show you is the common mistakes that people actually do with these nozzles. And what they actually do is, I'll see if I've got enough buttercream in here, 
is they actually dangle the nozzle. So can you see that? They actually dangle the nozzle and then they wonder why it won't stick. And it's because you can see you've got all these dangly leaves. So let me just get rid of this a moment. Yeah. Well, the next thing that they do is they squeeze and then they pull it up like that. Do we recognize any of these girls? Um, I just need another nozzle. So what you need to do is you need to go squeeze, attach it to the nozzle, form a base, squeeze, off. Form a base, squeeze, off. Squeeze, off. Just simple. On, squeeze, off. You can even go back on top. Squeeze, off. Squeeze, off. Squeeze, off. Yeah? Okay. This gets out there, I've done that in there. Right, okay, so let's get back to this cake then. Quite a few people here for the first time. Oh, great, fantastic, lovely to see you. Okay, so those ladies who just joined me, I'm actually doing the half, uh, I call it a half dome cake, and uh, John always corrects me because it isn't, it's actually a dome cake. Um, so I am just using room temperature butter. Okay, just your normal buttercream, which I've used 500 grams of butter, one kilo of icing sugar. Of course, I've used so, uh, sugar and crumbs flavoured icing sugar um, because I think that's the best. It's nicer, nicer. But for those of you who don't use that, just add flavouring. Remember, if you're using liquid flavouring, take that into account for the um, consistency of your buttercream. Yeah. Right, I think I've used all the nozzles I can use now. Let's see if I can get another red one out of here. Right, and then all I'm going to do now is I'm going to get my leaf nozzle. Now, people asked me last week, how do I use the leaf nozzle? So let me use this little spatula as a, a demo again. So for the leaf nozzle, this is the 352 leaf. I love this nozzle, you can use it for several sizes of leaves. Um, so all I'm going to do is squirt on there, so, so that one gives me a small leaf, smaller, or I can do bigger. The secret is all in the base, you can make them as big as you want, you can lie them down and do them like that. Um, I do see a lot of people do this type of thing. I'm not sure if that's a leaf or not, but this, all these leaves come from this nozzle. So just remember, the smaller the base, lift up, and the wider, the bigger the leaf. Have we got that? Is that good? Okay. Well, I'm actually going to use this to infill in my cake. So you'll see all these little gaps here. So I'm just going to go in. I'm just going to pop a few leaves in. You'll see the cakes start to pull together. Do you like these colours? What do you think? Is anybody saying whether they like the colours, John, or not? John doesn't talk to me very much. I have to sort of guess what you're all saying. The problem is there's a little bit of a time delay. Ah, oh, right, okay. The likes are coming in. The likes are coming in, brilliant, that's what we want. So this makes it a really easy cake to do. Just one second, a few more leaves. Go a bit leaf crazy. So, and then I'm actually just going to do a few around the base. If John can see, just to finish off the bottom of the cake. Can you see there, John? Yep. Just finishes it off slightly. You'll see that I've two-toned my leaves as well. I like either a pink or yellow or an orange just to give them a bit more of a warm feel. Today I've added one of the neutral colours. So we're going to go around again. Yeah. 
There we go. And that's my dome cake finished. How quickly was that? So when your friend next calls you and says, I need a cake, and you say when, and she says an hour, there you go, that's providing you've got the cake. That's providing you've got one in the freezer, a cake. But for buttercreaming, you can actually have it done in no time. So what do we think of that then, ladies? And gents, if there is any. Do we have any gents? Not seen any so far. Not seen any. So if I just turn that round. I have slightly run out of buttercream. Because um, as I can see, there's a couple of uh, holes that I'd probably like to fill in. Just think. Loads of lights coming in. Perfect, that's what we want. Let's see if we can just fill in a few of these here. Have we got any holes around there? Nope. There we go. Super. So, anybody wants to ask me any questions? That's me done. What time is it now? 25 to 9. And in 35 minutes, I've managed to show you how to do the rose twist, okay, and tuto. I've managed to show you how to do, use the oriental ruffle, yeah? And I have showed you how to decorate a cake and chat away to you. I hope you've really enjoyed it. Please feel free to ask me any questions. I'm going to be here for the next half an hour, 45 minutes, and I'll type back as fast as I can. Has anybody got anything they want to ask me now while I'm live? It's always a bit of a time delay. So. <laughs> John tells me there's a time delay, so if I look as though I'm stood here doing nothing, it's just because I'm just waiting for anybody to ask any questions. Would you like me to do another tutorial next week? I have got some lovely mini dolls to make, so if anybody had got those winter, um, Wilton Wonder Pans and the mini doll picks, I can actually show you how to make um, a little princess dress using the nifty nozzles. Really quick and easy, and all the little girls love them, and I can do that at the same time next week if you like. Hands up for those who would like to join me on those. Me. <laughs> yes, please. Yes, please. So, John, I don't know what to say unless you start telling me what people are asking. Can, we, can you show <laughs> demo the posy nozzle? The posy nozzle? Oh, I haven't got it yet, actually. Just give me a moment. Let me grab it. So the posy nozzle I used on these two cakes. So, um, as I said before, I like to use these small bags. Pop your nozzle in the bag. And don't just cut, pop your nozzle in. Okay, cut. And then push your nozzle out. Squeeze it out a little bit, yeah. So can you see that? We got that, John? So yeah. that the bag is actually level. I'm actually going to quickly two-tone this then. Because I've got some pink here. Someone's just been asking about the colours we use. Yeah, well we use the I I personally use the colour splash range. Um, only because it's my personal preference. Is it the best? I really don't know. I just like the little tip on the end. I'll show it you again. I like the idea that this little tip on the end and I can squeeze, squeeze the amount of colour in that I want and then um, pop the cap back on and it's all lovely and clean again. I find that when I use the Pro Gel, I love the colours of the Pro Gel, but this is what I don't like, okay? It's all over my fingers and hands by the time I've finished. And the problem with these, these Wilton Gel ones, again, they're fabulous colours, they really are, and the Sugar Flare, but it drives me mad having to pop a cocktail stick in and, um, and then when I take the cocktail stick out, it's not enough colour, I um, have to use another cocktail stick or if I, you know, or otherwise I've got all buttercream in my colourings. So that's why I use the colour splash range. But really, is that, do you need the colour splash range? No, not at all. Just my personal preference. So this is the posy. I've just um, two-toned it. I'm actually going to quickly put this neutral colour in. OK, 
Okay, and then let me just get another dummy cake here. So not use the biscuit. If you're gonna use these little dummy cakes, make sure you cover the hole. Otherwise you have loads of fun just squirting buttercream down the hole. But these are great for practicing on. If you're on a diet, I would say use these because then you can't eat them for practicing. And if you're not on a diet, then use the rich tea biscuits because then you can eat them after and the kids love them. So we're going to squeeze the cover out and we're just going to pop the nozzle onto the cake. So to remember what I said, on straight onto the cake, squeeze one centimetre up and off. You do get little bits that might fall to one side, don't worry. Squeeze one centimetre and up. I think it might be just one and a half centimetres. Put one in the middle there, squeeze up, squeeze up, squeeze up. And then you're gonna to have to give me a minute while I fill my tip up with um, some more green. And yes, any more questions they want to ask? So here we go. There we go. So we've got the posy flower up there. And I'm just going to pop in the leaf. And for those who want to see it sideways, have you got focus there, John? Yeah. So in you go. And you can make that leaf as big as you want. Now, one of the things I did love about last week is is the amount of messages and photos that I've got from all you ladies who've struggled with these nozzles. And so many of you have sent me pictures on Facebook via Messenger saying, you know what, you've learned so much. And I really do hope that you've learned a lot tonight. Um, I love these nozzles. I find them really easy, simple to use. The only thing I do ask you ladies is, please buy the genuine article. Nobody likes their cakes copied. Nobody likes having their pictures stolen. All ours have been stolen, unfortunately, have been copied. We have spent a lot of money on design rights and um, trying to protect them, but I can't protect them unless you guys help me. So again, I'm just going to show you the consistency of the buttercream. You, the again. Yeah, the consistency of the buttercream. You should be able to run your knife through it so it's lovely and smooth. Just like that, just like ice cream, really. Can you see how smooth it is? Yeah, so the lady who wants the oriental ruffle, just one second, have I got it full? Where is that? Yeah, so I've just got enough buttercream in here. So the oriental ruffle, just a little bit of buttercream. The oriental ruffle works exactly the same as all the other ruffle nozzles that we have. So I told you about uh, Rose Twist, Frilly Girl, Ruffles, Mrs. Whippy, they all just do different um, thicknesses of ruffle. The Oriental Ruffle is the thinnest one. So sit the nozzle on top of the cake, okay? No need to do all this rolling around, what they're all showing you. Just sit it onto the cake, start squeezing, 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 squeezing. Oh, I haven't got enough buttercream. Oops. Right, there you go. Well, if you don't like a lot of buttercream, then that's absolutely fine. So I'll just fill up my container again. And like I say, you can leave them plain or you can pop in um, a marshmallow, a strawberry, Ferrero Rocher, whatever you want, sprinkles, hundreds and thousands. So let's just put all this buttercream in here. absolutely fabulous and like I say I do prefer to use it with Italian meringue but for those ladies who don't use Italian meringue and you want to use buttercream just use this. Someone has asked why do you prefer with Italian meringue? Because it's very light and fluffy. Buttercream is quite heavy and um, I just like I like the effect it does with the Italian meringue. You'll see my picture um, 
when you see the cupcake with the orange case and the white um, meringue, the the, meringue, the white ruffles with a few little sprinkles, very few little sprinkles on the top, that's actually my photograph and that's been taken and been used all over the world. As much as that's really nice, at the end of the day they used it for the copy nozzles and it was actually used with this nozzle, the original one. So here we go, so we're squeezing, can you see all those lovely thin layers? Just keep squeezing and when you get to your desired height, twist off. I think I twisted off just a little bit too harsh. Let's go back on again, on again, let's twist off again. Yeah, and it gives you a nice flat edge, not the hole in the middle that the other ones do. This one gives you a nice flat edge. This is what we did before. I just put glitter all over it. Okay. There you go. Super. And can I help anybody with anything else? I'm actually melting in this kitchen now. That's what happens when you put it on full blast for the day. So last week I was freezing to death, lady. This week I'm absolutely boiling to death. My cold's a bit better, by the way. I've still got a squeaky voice. So here we go. Here's the dome cake using the natural colours with a red. And what do you think? Do you like it? Anybody going to make one? Come on, John. Talk to me. Is anyone talking? Mm. No? All right, ladies. I'm going to leave you for this evening. Thank you for joining me. And hopefully you'll see me next week uh, with something else. I'm either going to do the mini dolls or I'm actually going to do a cake for Mother's Day. I'll put a post up on Facebook, let you know what I'm going to do. And it's probably going to be the same time, same place, and I hope that you can join me then. Um, we'll put a link on the website to where all the nozzles are. Au revoir.